hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to install a module and uninstall a module from a settings so i will make the things clear so if i go to the payroll so in the database i have installed different modules so if i go to the payroll and if i take the settings of the payroll you can see that so i will go to the payroll conf configuration and then to the settings here you can see there is a field called payroll entries under the accounting so even though the, there is an enterprise label here you know that the functionality of this field is that upon taking this field right now you are getting an enter, uh, upgrade button that is because of the enterprise label so i think there is a bug in the original community edition so upon clicking this what happens is that the module named payroll accounting will get installed in the odoo database so if i go to the apps menu and if i search for payroll accounting you can see module called payroll accounting so on taking that boolean field this module will get installed in the database and if we untick that field this module will get automatically uninstalled from the database so let's see how we can do the same in our hospital management module so in our previous video we have shown you how to add settings for our module so this is the hospital management module or auto development tutorials module that we are continuing our development so recently i have shown you how to add configuration or settings to your module so if i open the settings you can see i have just added a field called default node so what we will do in this video is that we will add a new field here so right now you have can see we have installed different modules like calendar nodes contact sales point of sale etc crm is not yet installed in the database so we will add a boolean field crm here and what we need is that upon taking that crm boolean field the crm module has to be installed in the database and on unticking that boolean field the crm module has to be uninstalled so there is nothing much you have to do with this case by default odoo will do is that what you have to do is that you have to define the field in a particular name so in the current database the debug mode is not activated so first of all i will go to the settings and i will activate the debug mode so and if i go to the apps menu and if i search for the crm i'll just search for the crm you can see the technical name of the crm module is that crm so this is the technical name so i will go to the settings of the hospital management module that is auto development tutorials module so this is the settings that we have added last day so i will add a new boolean field here so the boolean field name should be module so as you need to install a module the name should start with module underscore and specify the technical name of the module that you have to install so on taking this boolean field i have to install crm module so i will give the field name as module underscore crm and fields dot you have to give a boolean field so boolean field and i will give the string as crm so that's done so this is what you have to do in the python type side so you have to define a field and it should be in the format module underscore technical name of the module that you have to install on clicking this boolean field so i have defined the field in python now i have to add in the view so i'll go to the settings so here you can see this is the code from which this settings is coming so if i go to hospital and then to the set configuration then to settings you can see right now we have only got a single care field in the settings so we will add a boolean field here so what i will do is that i will just copy these settings control c and i will paste it here now i have to get my new field that is module underscore crm so i'll just copy that and i will go to settings and i will paste the name here field name is given as module name label for not level for field module crm i will give label as crm or i'll just give the label as hospital crm hospital crm so what i have done is i have defined a boolean field with the name module underscore technical name of the module that you have to install and it should be of type boolean then in the xml the corresponding settings have added that field now i will just restart the service as i have my changes inside the python as well as in the xml so the service has got restarted now i will go to the ui and i will just update the module so let me go to the app store sorry apps menu here you have the module so let's wait until the module has got upgraded so yet if you haven't got this module in your hand don't hesitate to download it from odoo app store so you can go to odoo app store and search for odoo mates you will get this module or you can download it from our github repository
so the module is still loading and if you like our videos you can just subscribe the channel and also the videos are helpful you can just click the like button so the module has got loaded so let's see the change now i will go to the hospital and then to the corresponding settings from the configuration you can see the new field has got let me load it okay it's still loading you can see something here in the end yeah the settings has been loaded you can see a new boolean field has got added that is hospital crm so right now in the database you can see there is no crm menu so what i will do is that i will just open a new tab open a link in new tab so that i can go to the apps menu and if i search for crm here crm you can see you can see the install button so that is the module has not yet installed in the database so now i will go to our settings and i'll just click on this boolean button so the don't forget to give the name in the correct format that is module underscore technical name of the module so i'll click on save button so i have just untick this and I again tick this and if i click on save button you can see that system starts getting loaded so because it has to install a module so if i go to log you can see module crm updating or data updating database table that is right now crm is getting installed in the database so you can see the log of different that is loading crm module is loading into the database so you can see it's still loading that is it will take a time of a module installation so you have to wait until the installation is getting succeeded so it's not a difficult task to install a module or install an uninstall module from the settings we have to define the field in the correct format that is module underscore technical name of the module so you can see the settings has been getting loaded so let it complete so let's wait so if i go to the let's wait screen is still loading now if i click on here you can see crm module has got installed in the database and if we check here earlier when we have checked you can see still that installation button was visible so if i remove this filter and if i again search for crm you can see it has been installed in the database so this is how you can install a module from the settings so suppose if you need to install some another module like if you need to install our up, up, up accounting module that is if i go to the module info you can see the module name is om underscore account accounted suppose if this is the module that you have to install from the settings what you can do is that you can define a field first of all you have to define a field here that is module underscore this name technical name so i'll just copy this name and i will paste it here that is module underscore om account asset so like that you have to define a field it should be of type boolean and then you have to add it in the corresponding configuration view so on Taking that boolean field the module will get installed in the database and we have shown you the example with the crm so now let's go to the settings itself yeah right now we are in the settings now let me untick this so on unticking this you will get a warning so by default OD is sending a warning disabling this option will also uninstall the following modules that you can see oh, untick this option opportunity quotation and crm module will be uninstalled from the database so right now when we have shift into the apps menu you can see CR module has been installed in the database so now let's uncheck this okay no issues we need to uninstall so we have untick this and if i click on save button and if you check the log you can see you can see something like that deleting of database tables deleting that is the module is getting uninstalled so let's if you wait for some time you can see that CRM module will get uninstalled from the database so the system is still loading so just define a field like module underscore technical name so either you can get the technical name from the ui or you can just take the folder name so the technical name of our module is om hospital so i think yeah it has been loaded sorry it's still loading so yet if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe and suggest the video to your colleagues and support us so let's wait until the loading is been completed so once after the loading is completed definitely the crm module will get uninstalled from the database so let me see what's there inside the log you can see the deleting records that is deleting the, those records which has been get installed from the crm module so i think there is a lot of data that's why it's taking time 
so still loading please be patient yeah i think the model has been almost uninstalled yeah the final reloading is takes, taking place so let's wait until it has been com loaded completely I'll check the log you can see odo models dot unlink ir dot attachment records with ids so that's done the odo has been reloaded now if i go to the apps menu and if i search for crm you will see definitely you will see the install button again so you can see right now the installation button has been get visible again that's that means on unticking the boolean field the module has got uninstalled from the database so this is simply how you can install or uninstall a module from the settings there is no need to specify yeah there is no need to add code to install the module and uninstall the module just define the field in the corresponding or specified format that is module underscore technical name of the module you have to give that's all about this video and i have seen different persons writing codes for installing those modules like they will on clicking the save button they will write ir.module.module and they will call the module name and they will call the installation button function so there is no need of that it will be complicated as we have a simple approach is there better to use it always so that's all about this video if you have any suggestions or any feedbacks please don't hesitate to share it with us you can just share the feedbacks suggestions to our mail that is automates at gmail.com and if you like our videos and if you like the contents are helpful please refer the contents contents to your friends and please don't hesitate to subscribe the channel and like the videos. Thank you.